Welcome to the exhibition space here at ITU Telecom World 2019, where I'm here, behind me here, you can see the Korean stand, and they've gathered a number of SMEs here, innovators here, with very interesting solutions for the digital world. And the first one, we're going to go and have a chat to a few of these, and the first one that we're going to have a talk to here is called Image Mining, a company called Image Mining, and they've developed an indoor screen uh, sports system. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your product and what it does. It is an indoor screen sports system uh, that allows the young students uh, to play 30 different uh, kind of sports uh, inside of school. Yeah. It makes classroom really colorful with diverse activities, uh, which students can interact with one and others. Yeah. Okay, so when it's a rainy day, basically, that means that they can still be playing baseball in, in, inside the school, is that right? Yeah. So um, let's have a quick look at how it works. So essentially you've got a, you've got a screen here, is that right? You have a screen here yeah. and uh, tell me how, how does it work exactly? Uh, this is a sensor and, so and... There's a sensor up here at the top, yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got a number of boxes here as well. What yeah. do you have to do? You have to throw yeah. the ball? Just a throw. Like a baseball. Yeah. Throw like a baseball. Okay, I'll give it a go and see yeah. what happens. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, strike. strike! There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, good. <laughs> Obviously, in uh, school, uh, there probably would be much would be much bigger, and I probably wouldn't be quite as good because it would be much further away. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, but great. Well, that's that's excellent. At least it's getting them uh, moving, and uh, and thank you very much for, for sharing that yeah. with us. Thank excellent. You and what are your uh, what are your aims for the future? What are your aims for the future for this? Uh, I hope to develop on uh, is is indoor a sport system for the uh, disabled and elderly people yeah okay excellent well that's that's wonderful so very very inclusive okay well thank you we're just gonna thank you uh, come some uh, so uh, we're gonna now uh, move on here uh, to uh, Mapper and uh, Dromi company limited uh, and they were telling me a little bit about how this works before um, and we're gonna have a little chat to them hi so but perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what uh, what this does exactly our software with the help of the drones use uh, to capture the images and buildings so we uh, use the deep learning techniques, so we remove the car's images. This picture is so introduced. Uh, capture the drone use the source images and composite the also image portal around the world. So we remove the cars and shadows like this. We have final images. That's great. So you can essentially detect the state of roads yes. without getting the cars off the road. Okay, correct. And uh, that means essentially that it's taking a photograph that's been taken uh, from an aerial uh, photograph here and it removes the photographs, it re sorry, removes the vehicles from the photograph itself. Yes. Uh, so we remove the, use the technique, uh, deep learning techniques, we use the uh, capture the cars. So we removed, first remove the cars, second remove the shadows. So we first remove, checking the road conditions. That's wonderful. And then essentially then you can see if there is a pothole, if there is a hole in the road, if there is some defects, etc. on that. Correct. Excellent. And how, how, how have uh, people been reacting to this uh, here at uh, uh, Telecom World? Have you had some good feedback from this? Uh, usually uh, government status, uh, we in South Korea, so we, uh, order, uh, order the uh, 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 correct uh, recruit our uh, platforms. So, okay, so you have a, you can show us a d demonstration here of what it, on the computer itself is that right of how, how the product actually works? Uh, show you this uh, uh, right left images are on the road cars. So we use the technique uh, deep learning techniques. So we remove the cars and shadows and ex etc. So we remove the checking and uh, we con ro check the road conditions. That's great. I wish I had this was when I was driving to work. Yes. Then I could get all the, rid of all the cars except for mine on the road. Right. <laughs> Only joking. Okay, well, thank you very much for, for that. It's a very good uh, product, and I, I wish you the very best, best with that. It looks, uh, it looks uh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Come, send me down. 
And uh, now we're going to move on to something completely different. This is uh, Fit's Pet and it's technology for the beloved. Uh, it is actually, it enables you uh, to detect your pet's health, which I've got a cat and a dog at home. So uh, actually two cats and one dog. Uh, so I think this is going to be an, an excellent product for me uh, if I want to uh, ensure their longevity. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about, uh, tell us your name and tell us uh, uh, what, uh, what, what, what this is all about. All right. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. This is um, uh, our product it name is Fit Pad Ahead, and my name is Jackie Lee. I'm a global business manager, and this is our product. This is a urinalysis test kit for for pets, and um, simply you coat your urine samples from here to here, your pets and pets urine samples, and place it on the color chart. Download the free application. and click all the instruction. And you scan. Within one minute, the result will come up. The result will analyze 10 different parameters and detect more than 10, dif 10 different diseases. As you can see, it, it analyzes all different um, parameters itself. First, it will, it will explain a little bit about the parameter itself and it will detect uh, possible diseases and explain a little bit about the possible symptoms. Also, it keeps the previous data so it, it is easier for the caregivers to keep track of the health, uh, pet's health status. Okay, now so essentially what you're doing here is you're collecting the pet's urine in one way or another yes. and you're then analyzing it with uh, this, uh, th this litmus uh, test. Um, so tell us, how do you collect the, the urine? It must be a complicated task. Yes, so right now uh, for, we have a cat set and dog set. Right now uh, for the dog set we have urine collecting tools and if your dog urines inside of the house on top of the uh, pee pee pad, you can just simply uh, flip it because the other side of the pee pee pad is non-observant actually. So um, if, you're urinate, you, if your dog urinates inside, that's e very easy. But if your dog urinates outside, you need to use the uh, dog sets to get the urine sample. Okay, so I mean, if my dog urinates inside, it's going to be in very big trouble. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but obviously you can ch try and chase them uh, down the road or have them on a lead and then basically collect it in there, uh -huh. but wearing a glove, which is uh, obviously a very good thing. Yes, of course. And for the cats, you will have to replace um, the regular... Oh, for the regular uh, cat litter to our uh, ahead uh, non-absorbent cat litter. And so this is this is cat litter that is non-absorbing, is that right? Correct. So as you can see, uh, the the cat litter urine sample is rolling around on top of the non-absorbent cat litter, right here. So you simply get the uh, the sample from the from this litter and test it. I see. So you get it with a pipette, and then basically you then you put it onto the uh, uh, on, onto the little strip, and then. That's correct. Then, then you can analyze it very good. And so people are going to be doing this at home. It saves them a, a trip to the vets, perhaps? Yes, so it saves the time and it is very affordable for everyone to use. And it, it is very easy to use for all the people. And currently, this, this, you have this in, in, in Korea? Yes, right now we are selling in South Korea and we are we export it to Indonesia and Singapore. And we are opening up US market in, on Amazon in two weeks. In two weeks' time, fantastic. Okay, well, I'll wait until then. Uh, uh, but that's wonderful. No, that's great news. And, and as I say, I think it's. And, and how often should people be using this then? So uh, we are suggesting once in month, but we, I am suggesting to, uh, once in twi uh, two months. Okay, so once every couple of months. It's a little bit of a task to do it, but uh, but obviously worth uh, discovering your pet's health. And you're you're checking here for diabetes, bladder infection, urinary stones. Uh, I mean, all sorts of things like that: renal failure, liver gallbladder disease, hemophilic, uh, he, uh, hemolytic. Uh, is it hemolytic an anemia? Sorry, I should say. Okay, it's very so. common diseases for all the pets that we have. So th those are the very uh, popular diseases that we can see for for all the pets.
Great. Okay. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you for that. And uh, that's great. Affordable health solution, 99.6% of accuracy to detect more than 10 diseases. Great. Okay. Well, I look forward to starting. Well, not, not quite looking forward to starting to using that, but hopefully, uh, uh, as I say, hopefully, no, I'm, I, I think it's a very good thing. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jackie. You. Cheers. Okay. Well, let's move on a little bit more. And uh, we are still on the Korean stand here at uh, Telecom World 2019 in Budapest in Hungary. Um, and uh, here we are at TEM. It's a social network service, uh, trendy items. Hello. Hello. Uh, so perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what you've got here. We are the company who is preparing to launch the social networking service. We have a new technology which users can drag the part of the picture and put the link or information which does not have the limitation or linking the website. Exist SNS can only go link that goes under only in their one SNS. That's the huge advantage of us that we can link to anywhere. Okay, great. So, and uh, show us a little bit how it works then. Oh, okay. I can, I want to picture of you. Uh, c can you agree? Yes, I agree. To see, yeah, for you to take a picture. Yes, of course. Three, two, one. Smile. Cool. Nice. Okay. 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 Great. Yeah. Nice. And adjust the picture. And uh, this is our technology. We have the patent of this technology. And. Uh, Pick one, uh, or pick one, and draw the area where you want in a picture. And next, find the find the information what you want. Uh, URL, Google, YouTube, anywhere, anywhere, any any site, and click Google. Put the ITU and detail site. This is coolest ICU hotels, yeah, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. coolest ICU hotels. Oh, okay. okay, let's try ITU again. Let's try, try one more time. So. Okay, okay, okay. That looks more like it. The International Telecommunication Union, yeah? Okay, good. Click the button to connect information. And you can one, two, three, one hundred, twenty hundred. Yes, okay, link. Oh. So you can put hundreds of different uh, links and ta tags on, on onto this particular photograph. Yeah, yeah. And next, Wi-Fi. So it's pro processing a bit here. We got a lot of a lot of people here at ITU Telecom World, so that's what probably why. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, your picture. And th and there I am. Fantastic, excellent. I'm curious and click and click the button, and move to the side, ITU side. Fantastic. Well, they'll be very happy on the ITU website for that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Patent technology. Yeah. Great. Okay. And, and what what kind of reception have you got uh, for this product here? How how have people been reacting to it? You have to. So, sorry. H how have people been reacting? Have been has there been very positive reaction to it? launch soon next week okay launching it next week okay fantastic well good luck with that thank you very much indeed thank you very much bye-bye okay. <laughs> thank you okay great so here we've got uh, mobilio uh, and uh, mobilio have got a wireless sensor network uh, and uh, here you can uh, see that here there's a different different bits to it um, on the screen here and uh, perhaps you could explain to us a little bit about uh, uh, what this is about what's your name Yes, my name is Jin Shik. Jin Shik, perhaps could, can you tell us a little bit about your product here? So, yeah, you know, Smart Factory is a growing so fast. It's Mobilio is a Smart Factory solution provider. Finding a permanent solution is our ultimate goal. But by putting our sensors on the machine, this machine gets the data and send the server, and then you can see what's going on on the machine at office. It can even tell when your machine is running or not. We will then establish the vibration baseline of the machine and automatically set warning and alarm thresholds. It will alert you when your machine begins acting strange so you can schedule maintenance when it has the smallest impact on production. Monitor your machines, detect the problem early and avoid costly unplanned downtown downtime with the mobile or predictable maintenance solutions. 
Excellent. And so in, essentially, this is detecting vibrations in the machine. It's working out if there's something that's different. Vibrations are quite complicated to, uh, uh, to, to assess. So essentially here, this is making sure that your factory is, is safe and working well. Is that right? Yes, you're right. So, you know, as temperature, humidity, uh, CO2 data is uh, static data, is it very easy to understand. But vibration is a huge amount of data, so it's very hard to uh, understand. So, it's very important for smart factories, smart city, smart farm. So, we will provide our solution to factories. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much indeed, and a pleasure to meet you. Can you so there you go. I, mean, I think it's a fascinating insight into uh, the, the different SMEs here uh, in the uh, Korean uh, pavilion here. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, you will join us again for other videos here on the ITU YouTube channel. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much uh, for joining us here from ITU Telecom World 2019 in Budapest, Hungary.